Ok, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So, insyaAllah This is a revision topic for area of triangles So, we already have been go through this topic Before the PKP Before the holiday, school holiday So, I just doing a recap Here, we go to the topic Area of triangles So, in year 4, you already learned How to find the area of of rectangles where you need to times the length times by width right so here as you can see uh, area of triangles the triangle can be like this or it also can be drawn like this or this is also called as triangle this one also called as triangle this one also called as triangle right okay let's go to the first Subtopic so where in a triangle you need to identify where is the base and where is the height. Alright, so here is the base for first triangle, and here also is the base for the second triangle, the big triangle here. While the height for the first triangle is only this, and the height for the second triangle is this. Alright, okay. So, uh, this is also a uh, important important uh, point that you need to know that the height of of a triangle is perpendicular to its base. All right. What does it mean by perpendicular? Perpendicular meaning that the the angle is ninety degrees. As you can see here, this is the base and this is the height. So, the base and the height. Is perpendicular to each other here 90, 90 degrees all right okay so here how to find the area of the triangles so you need to uh, memorize this formula where the area of triangles is equal to 1 over 2 times base times height or in other words is base times height divided by 2 okay and given here is an example, so we go one by one. So for the first example here is the base given here is 8 and the height given is also 8. Alright, so here is 8, this one also 8. So how to find the area of the triangles? Just 1 over 2 times by height times by times base so 1 over 2 times by 8 times 8 so 8 times 8 you will get 64 divided by 2 you will get 32 centimeters square please write the units properly right it is because centimeter times by centimeter it will be centimeter square all right next so 9 here is the base while the height here is 6 centimeter where the base is perpendicular to its height, alright? So, how to find the area is 1 over 2 times 9 times 6, okay? So, 9 times 6, you will get 54. Divide by 2, it will be 27 centimeters square again, okay? Centimeter square. Remember to put the square here. Alright, here. This is not exactly the triangle. But it's given here 4 cm is the base. So where is the height? So here to here is the base, right? So the height must be perpendicular to the base. It cannot be this. It cannot be this line. So the height must be perpendicular to the base, to its base. Alright? So given the base is 4, so the height here is 11. So how to find the area? Again, 1 over 2 times base times height. 1 over 2 times 4 times 11. So, 4 times 11, you will get 44. Divided by 2, it will be 22 centimeters square. Alright. So, next example. Okay. So, we're given 3 here. This one 16. Here is 12. So, this one is 20 centimeters. So, first things first, please identify where is the base. What is the height? So, what is the base here? Is it 20? Is it 16 or 12? Yes, exactly. The base here is this one, 16 centimeter. So, what is the perpendicular to the base here? 
obviously this 12 cm is not 20 20 is not is not 90 degrees it's only about 30 degrees and below right so the 90 degrees perpendicular to the base is here which is 12 cm so how to find the area is 16 times 12 divided by 2 right so 16 times 12 you will get all right so 16 times 12 you will get 192 192 divided by 2 in the end you will get the answer is 96 centimeters square okay so uh, I will give you another three examples so here how to find the area of the shaded part in each rectangles okay what does it mean by rectangles rectangles is the square this one the whole figure here right so the length here is 22 the width here is 16 only from here to here is 12 centimeter so the question asks you to find the area of the shaded part you need to know what does it mean by shaded part shaded part meaning here the shaded part the shaded part by the black color here all right so in order to find this it can be two uh two two technique to find for the first thing is uh you can find the whole diagram here the whole diagram here area of the rectangles and then you minus with a a part here and you minus to b part here Okay, can be either two to to method lah. So you need to find the whole diagram here minus with a minus with b. Then you will get this shaded region. Or directly find the answer. How to find the rectangles? How to find the triangles here? So what is the base here? So what is the base for this? We know that the whole length here is 22, right? So, what is the remainder here? 22 minus with 12. So, we're going to get the base here is 10 cm. Right? So, base here is 10 cm. So, what is the height? Height must be, must be the perpendicular to the base, which is 16. So, how to find the area of the... Area of the... Shaded parts. How to find the area of the shaded part is equal to 1 over 2 times length times base. Sorry, times height. Okay. So, what is the height and what is the base? The height is 16 and the base is 10. So, 16 times by 10, you will get 160 divided by 2. You will get the final answer is 18 centimeters square. Right? 18 centimeters square. Okay? This is the fastest way to find the area of the shaded part. If you want to find the area for the whole rectangles and then minus with A and minus with B, you will take more time to execute the calculation all right so we need to solve this question as fast as you can so you can if you can use the fastest way so just use the fastest way all right okay let's go let's move to the second question here you need to also find the area of the shaded region here so you can clearly uh, see the rectangles there right sorry the triangles here so what is the base so the base for the rectangle triangle here is 17 so what is the height the height must be perpendicular to the base which is 10 all right so put the formula 1 over 2 times base times height so equal to 1 over 2 times 17 times 10 so you get the answer is 
117 times 10 is 170 divided by 2 you will get 85 centimeters square all right so for this last example uh, the question didn't ask you to find the yes the question again asked you to find the shaded region but if you can see from the whole diagram here uh, to find the shaded region here you can do two two uh, two method right for the first method is you find the whole diagram here rectangles and you minus with the unshaded region okay that is the first technique first method and for the second method is you need to find uh, the shaded part and also this shaded part it will take more time so because the unshaded region here is less so it's better for you to find the whole diagram and then minus here so first find the area of unshaded region how to find this area of find area of the unshaded region you need to find the length here given the whole length is 20 here is 6 here is 5 so 5 plus 6 is equal to 11 so the whole is 20 so 20 minus 11 you will get here length is equal to 9 centimeter how it's shown here l is equal to L is length is equal to 20 minus 6 minus 5. You will get the 9, nine centimeters. So 9 centimeters is equal to equal to the base. And what is the height? Height here is 16. So you just put into the formula area is equal to base times height divided by 2. Divided by 2. So 9 times 16 divided by 2 you will get the answer is 72 centimeters square all right that's all for this uh so just wait for my upcoming videos assalamualaikum